Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Azure DevOps services. I'm Sasha Rosenbaum. I'm a program manager on the Azure DevOps team, and with me today is Dave McKinstry. Dave, do you want to introduce yourself? Well, sure, Sasha, and frankly, I am a program manager on the Azure DevOps team, just like you. That is great, and we are in Denver today, um, and we are going to be talking about Sprint 161, which is finishing rolling out to all organizations. Um, and we just wanted to demo a couple features today. Um, the first feature I want to show you is the integration between pipelines and repos and Microsoft Teams and Slack. So we've been talking about this for a couple of sprints where we had applications for integration between those applications. Um, and so you could notify the channels or you can even make simple changes from Slack or our teams um, and we extended this capability to include the ability to subscribe to all the pipelines in a particular project so I'm just going to show the integration between pipelines and Microsoft Teams so I have a Teams channel here that's already got the Azure pipelines application so I'm just going to start typing in choose Azure pipelines and then it will suggest a couple of commands for me so I'm going to um, do subscribe, and then I'm going to add the URL of my project. So previously I had to add the URL of my particular pub pipeline, but now I can um, add the subscription for the entire project. And so you will see in a second, it pulls up um, all of the subscriptions for this particular project. And so now if I type in um, Azure Pipeline subscriptions, and pull that up, then it will show me every subscription that it has, which happens to be all the pipelines in this particular project. Um, so it kind of saves you time in terms of configuring notifications for the channel. Um, and you can do the same thing for Slack as well. Um, and then the second thing that I wanted to talk about is a new um, extension capability for YAML pipelines. Um, so I'm going to switch up to the documentation here. Um, so Sometimes in your pipelines you have a situation where you have um, more than one repo that you need to check out and you kind of have code that is contributing to your project in multiple places. Um, and so you previously had to configure them as sub-modules and do some tricks like that, configure a custom sprint, uh, script for this. Um, so now you can just specify the repos, multiple repos in your YAML pipeline and specify um, the code that you want to check out. So you can see that here I'm checking out self and also a repo called tools. So I can pull up all of my code and my utilities um, into my pipeline before I trigger it. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to demo. And Dave, do you have anything that you want to show well, us today? Of, of course I do. And, and speaking of pipelines, I think we have some very uh, cool things coming out in terms of the integration with Azure Pipelines and GitHub. Now, this is not the first time we've done integration stories between GitHub and Azure DevOps, and we expect this to only continue. But one of the things that's happened recently, last month, GitHub GA'd GitHub Actions. And, and Actions is a GitHub native CI solution that allows you to do the same type of things we would do in build pipelines in Azure DevOps. Now, one of the nice things about this is it is GitHub native. So if you're one of the many people out there who are choosing GitHub as your repository source, you can now use the native continuous integration capabilities and then tie them into the deployment pipelines that Microsoft already does such a great job of with Azure Pipelines. Oh, that sounds very exciting. So let me, let me show you some of this. If I go and take a look at Actions, this, this is just the standard documentation. I'm just saying it's out there in case you want to look into it. If you're on GitHub, I would certainly consider looking into it. But for my purposes, I want to drill into a specific example. In this case, if I want to create a pipeline or rather an Actions workflow, all I have to do is drop a YAML file into the correct subfolder in my GitHub repo. The YAML syntax is slightly different than what we have in Azure Pipelines, but it's similar, very similar, because in fact it was built by a lot of the same people using a lot of the same engineering. Now, the one thing I want to show you is not all the details about how GitHub does their version of YAML, but this specific action right here. It says uses Azure Pipelines release v1. This is actually a, a hook into my release pipeline that allows me to deploy to that pipeline triggered by this build. Okay, so I have my CI configured in Actions and then I can trigger CD in my pipelines. Absolutely. And GitHub, like Azure DevOps, Azure Repos, has a lot of the same things you would expect. So in the case of pull requests, I have a pull request and I go to one that I've already done 
that shows this, it is actually going and running that workflow and doing that continuous integration build in actions. So if I show all checks, there it is, including the, the CI portion and the CD portion, which is the hook. So if I drill into that. Oh, and I can go to details right here. Yeah, the details take me right, and this is still in GitHub. I'm still in native GitHub, and this is the, uh, yeah, again, if you're from an Azure DevOps perspective, this user interface will look fairly familiar, even though it's sitting in, in Azure DevOps, or in GitHub, rather. Uh, but this is actually triggering, so if I go now over to my pipeline, this is a standard release pipeline. This, this part, unlimited actions pipeline was triggered directly. The deployment was triggered from a CI build in GitHub Actions. From that pull request 13, I can see. Absolutely, and if I edit this, the one thing I want to show about this pipeline is it's a pipeline just like you're used to seeing. This release pipeline, this release, is exactly what you're used to. The only thing I did different here, and I didn't have to, was say I'm pulling my artifacts out of GitHub, but I could have pulled them out of Azure Container Registry or get a package registry or wherever it is that I need to pull my bolt artifacts from before I deploy them. But at this point, built in one place, deployed through the Azure Pipelines released workflow that we know and love with gates, checks, tracing, all the stuff that's great. So all the enterprise compliance policies and all the stuff that we know and use already. Yes, and I think this is really exciting because frankly I expect actions to grow a lot and this will open up a whole new world of things between the work of what happens in GitHub, what happens in Azure DevOps. It's just going to continue to grow and be wonderful. It is very, very cool, and thank you for showing us that. Thank you. So this is all we have time for today. Uh, please check out release notes for more features, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Sprint videos, and we will see you all next Sprint. Bye.